subscribe to follow along. Everyone says when you're an Aonang and Krabby, you have to do this. So we are so excited to be doing it today. But first we're gonna get Krabby. We made it. So two things. First, we're actually meeting friends that we've made in Thailand, which is really cool, which helps split the cost and lower the price and actually really makes it worthwhile. So a private tour is what we're having today. The second thing. We got up nice and early, which is great for keeping Why we rush for breakfast. So that we can hopefully have the island at a less busy time. Also, we're taking those boats to those islands. So it's gonna be a very exciting day. Alright, get up there. We got a nice boat for today. Wow. Woo! These long tail boats are quite beautiful. And honestly, they smell good. They smell like cedar. Like, actually, really nice. By the way, if you're curious, it was about $35 Canadian per person to take the boat for a half day. Off we go! Let us first introduce you to Max and Jackie from Max and Jacqueline. <laughs> Look at that formation! Chicken Island. Wow, we're on an island. Pretty which, much alone. Which is called Chicken Island because on the other side, I think, we'll see it eventually, it looks like a big chicken head. Yeah. And this is a sandbar, that which can, we can walk. Right now, because he said the tide's coming in, so eventually you won't be able to walk. So we gotta go before it gets too high. Hopefully it's not too deep. I hope it's not like the Bay of Fundy over here where the tide moves and just takes you with you and just, you can see it go up. Hopefully it's slow. <laughs> It seems slow moving. We're at hip length. <laughs> Look at you. the phone bag. You follow the rope, you're good. I am. Did not get lost in the way over here. But then we see our boat. <laughs> there is a big sign that says danger, do not cross during high tide. So another plus to coming early is we were able to do Well, I mean, really tides cool crossing. changed, Debbie. Okay, well, today we got lucky then. <laughs> <laughs> This is so cool. What a great way to start the day. Wow, you know, people always talk about how popular this, like, southern Thailand is and how many islands there are and how many tourists there are, but you know what? It's understandable why yeah. it's so touristy. I've realized Thailand is really a global destination yeah. and uh, it makes sense. There's a lot to see, a lot to take in, really amazing culture and people. So cool. So. And, like, so much beauty. Yeah, a lot of beauty, a lot of natural beauty. All of these islands are part of a national park and as a tourist it costs 200 baht to get on these islands. If you're Thai it's only 40 so it's a good deal if you're Thai. Our beach is gone. There's our boat. Now we're going to the other island across. We are lucky that we caught the, uh, the tide at the right time. We were still able to walk across. But I think it does, when the tide goes out completely, it does make an entire sandbar that connects both islands. Like, what the heck? This is beautiful. 
after our swim, we just came up to this little lookout, easy walk up, and look at this view. Holy moly. Another stop by the Chicken Rock, and I think we're gonna get to go swimming. And there's fish in the water that we can see. Look at that! Part of today's adventure includes snorkeling here. That is amazing. This looks like a good mass, and there's already tons of fish, as Evan said. These like yellow striped fish. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Think I can do glasses and, and goggles? Just one of them? Okay, fair enough. All right. Wildlife. That's pretty neat. That's why they have a lot of fish here, because they feed them a bunch. We made it to our second island, Huda, and off the bat, I have to say, insanely blue water. It's probably because the sun's coming out, but the sand is soft and the water's blue, and I'm excited to explore. Okay, pretty nice. Even whiter, even bluer. Like, what is Thailand? Oh my goodness. Every so far, everything about this country as a whole has just impressed yeah. us, blown our expectations. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Right, about booking. So, like we said, we paid 35 per person, 30, 30, 35 Canadian per person. Uh, and we split it four ways, and it was actually quite a bit cheaper than booking a group tour, which can be 50 to 70 dollars Canadian per person, actually, versus a couple. So, and on top of that, you wouldn't have the free time that you get from a private tour. Um, so we went with the private. It's worth it if you have other people to split it with. But you know, group tours are sweet too. We do a lot of those. All right. See so, ya. Yeah. So in terms of booking a private boat, if that's what you're interested in, you literally just go to the Aonang Beach and there's a bunch of boats there and you ask, it's a set price for the boat for the day and it's really easy. So thank you Max and Jackie for doing that. Turns out Jacqueline never had a childhood and didn't learn how to do a cartwheel. So I'll teach her. You gotta flex your core. Put your hands up and then just rotate like that. Let's okay, I'm it. gonna go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I think I caught her. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Being us, we packed 
Tupperware lunches from breakfast. From our buffet breakfast at the hotel. So we're gonna eat our snacky lunch. It's actually pretty good. This is a new one. Rice noodles? Mm hmm Egg, chicken? Egg, chicken, and I put some tomatoes in. Morning glory? Mm hmm Regular stuff. You rock, that was excellent. We are back in Anang. What an incredible morning. Oh my goodness. It's 12.30 and we've had a day already. That was so worth it, oh my goodness. 35 k in each? Yeah. Uh, and With friends, yeah. private guide, was, boating around. It was so serene over there and because we went early, we even saw as we were leaving, there were way more boats. So. Oh yeah. And also the tide, we had to go back. Jackie lost her sunglasses, so we had to go back to grab those at one point and the tide totally came up and you couldn't walk across that beach, so you I, walked across the morning. I imagine some people wouldn't be able to walk no. across that little uh, sand bank. Yeah, so when the tide is low, go to that area. But anyways, yeah. it, I know this was shorter than normal video, but oh my god, that was We've been wanting to do that. We've been here for a few days and we you know, looking around, it's like, oh, we gotta go to those four islands. So I'm yes. really happy we did that. It and was of paradise. Course we wanted to share it with you guys as tide well. Tide paradise. No so, wonder this is a global destination. Yes, so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed meeting our pals. Jackie and Max, they have a YouTube channel as well. Max and Jacqueline, check it out, they're really cool. Yep, and so thank you so much for watching and all your support, and we'll see you soon in our next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Wait, hold up. It's the Spider Man meme. <laughs> Devin, don't look so awkward. I'm trying to try something. <laughs> oh, also, you're uh -huh. not supposed to, you have to hold on to your mask. I know. What am I, a rookie? This is my second time, though. <laughs> not my first.